I'm Kelly D and today I'm going to share with you another recipe from the potato. Now the potato is so versatile. You can try so many recipes from it. I'm going to link one in the egg cards above and also in the description box below that you can try. Today I'm going to share with you how to make stuffed potatoes. Now I'm sure some of you are saying stuffed potatoes? How can you stuff a potato? Well, I'm going to show you how. But before we get into our ingredients, I want to give a shout out to two persons who submitted their photos this week. We have Patrick. It looks so delicious. And over here, we have Miss Grimes. She is a terrific cook and you can see from the picture. And I'm encourage, encouraging all of you, submit your photos. There is something special for you at the end of the month. Let's go over the ingredients. We have five large English potatoes. The larger the potatoes, the better. We're gonna wash them and pat them dry. Five large potatoes. We have half of a medium onion chopped, half of a medium sweet pepper chopped. We have some veggie slices just to add the flavor to our sub potatoes. So we're gonna chop the veggie slices. Oil for frying three tablespoons of softened butter, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, one cup of grated cheese, and quarter cup of milk. Now our potatoes are already washed and we patted them dry. So we're not gonna peel them. We're not going to do anything with them. The first step is to bake them. So we're gonna put some, take your fork, but I just put some holes in the potatoes. I like to do it at least four times with each potato. And once we would have done that, we're gonna add some oil all over the potatoes. Just the last one. Now all the potatoes would have had the pricks. Now we're gonna add just a bit of oil to each potato. I'm gonna make sure we rub it all over the potato. We want the potato to be nice and oily. Or just put it in your hand. Once our potatoes are nice and oiled, then we're gonna put them into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. process of making our stuffed potatoes is done. We would have baked the potatoes for 25 to 30 minutes and just look at it. You can see the skin is coming off of the potatoes and they're slightly soft on the inside. Now what we're going to do next, we're going to cut the potatoes in half. We're going to remove all of the insides of the potatoes and then we're gonna to proceed to create the mixture. sides of this final half. Remember we're going to take our time very gently. We don't want to break the skin. Just take the insides out because it should have been it should have been nice and soft because you would have baked it. We're going to remove the inside. Now we're going to prepare our filling. We're going to saute our onion and sweet pepper and then we're going to add our veggie strips and mix them up well and then we're going to add that to our potato filling that we just removed from the potatoes and it's going to give it such a nice flavor our onion and sweet pepper have been sauteing for a couple of minutes so now we're going to add our veggie strips now you can choose to add any other kind of protein that you want to add here, any other kind of strips. You can add it here. We just want to elevate the flavor of our stuffed potatoes. But I'm going to use veggie strips, so you can use anything else. And I'm going to add a bit of 
salt and pepper just to amp the flavor up. Okay, it's all finished. So we're gonna add this now to our creamed potatoes and get ready to stuff them. This smells so amazing. It's still nice and hot. So we're gonna add this to our creamed potatoes. Then we're gonna add our softened butter. You wanna make sure we get it nice and creamy. And we're gonna add our milk. And we're gonna mix it all together. Our stuffing is done. Now we have to put it into our potatoes. I did say this is a delicious recipe, but it takes a little time because it's almost twice baked potatoes. Sometimes you can add the cheese to the filling, but I prefer to add the cheese only at the top. But if you wanted to add the cheese, you can add it. So we're gonna stuff our potato halves. Then we're gonna top it off with cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stuff all of them. Then we're gonna put it back into the oven and bake it for just about 15 minutes until the cheese at the top is nice and melted. Then it'll be time for us to taste. Final touch to add our cheddar cheese. Grated cheese just to the top of our stuffed potatoes. And then we're gonna bake them for about 15 minutes. Like I said, if you wanted to add some cheese to the stuffing, you could, but I chose not to. So we're gonna just add our cheese at the very end. This is so delicious. This is a perfect side dish. You can have this just with a salad and it is so filling. Now, it's time to bake. Our stuffed potatoes are done and they look amazing filled with cheese all over the top it's time to taste i'm gonna try this one it's still a little hot but i waited for it to cool just a bit now it's time to taste it's so soft the knife goes right through it and of course with any fruit or vegetable you can eat the skin so we're going to have our potato with the skin on. And it smells so good. Mmm. Okay. So delicious. Like I always say, the perfect bite. Stuffed potatoes. Now you need to try it. If you enjoyed this potato recipe as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you, just click over here and you will see my playlist of other potato recipes. And once you've watched them all, just click the button below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to send a comment. I love hearing from you.